versus zero to death, which are true. Yeah, 100%. 100%. But it means damage so far this tournament has been crazy too, you know? Exactly. We're getting some really good conversions. So, you know, zero to death for zero to death, potentially. I can't remember if you've seen zero to death for me, yeah, but we very well could. Yeah, very we well definitely could. could. We definitely could, but we're going to get into our game one here between Kaz and Diddy Kong. It's going to be Mitch versus Hit Me. Game one on Town City. Oh no, Kazu with Banana is going to be a problem. Kazu with bana Banana is potentially the scariest thing in Super Smash Bros. I'm going to tell you that right now. I would concur to... I would agree. You know, that's frightening as hell. Just electric rod fist out of shield, yeah. basically, because you electric rod fist an out of shield option. That's so mad. That's like terrifying to think of. Goodness gracious. Okay, he gets the slip off. Slots. Okay, both the players playing a little bit patiently, which is good. I think I think that's oh good. The banana saving it me there. I think we're gonna see that quite a few times throughout the set, because A lot of the time, if you're not going to be throwing it at Cavs, so you need to be able to interrupt those. Uh, you need to be able to interrupt those combos somehow. So, yeah, normally Diddy can abuse his long limbs to yeah. kind of almost, you know, he can even space out a lot of characters. But the problem is, Kazu can be invincible and just hit most of the extensions and just kill him. So that's going to be a major problem. Messing up a zero to death here, but he's. Okay, a bit of a scramble there. Down throw, it's a nothing. Rage drive on deck, by the way. Not anymore, sadly. Yeah, it's, just gone. Yeah, it's gone. But I don't think it's going to take too much more for me to take the. Uh, sorry, for uh, for Mitz to take the stock. I don't even think he'll need the rage drive. But that being said, surely it me will take the stock soon. It's becoming difficult, though. It's becoming difficult because Mitz is. Monkey flips and stuff. Yeah, but you can kind of just do that, can't you? Yeah, Mittens have been playing neutral quite well so far. That, he probably wins his hat. Yeah. Kazi a punish game, as everyone knows, incredibly strong. Did he throw banana? Few times. That kills. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I can't go it hard. It's absolutely gross. <laughs> yeah. The last zones are so close. The last zones, I think, are probably going to work out in Mitten's favor more. Yeah. But did he forward a fresh guarding and stuff? And uh, Banana X match. Forward air. We almost saw a. There. Okay. That tilt's gonna be quite good it's at. Probably the stock here. Yeah, yeah it, it is a stock. To end up like that. I don't think Mittens had much of an option there, though. I think that was just. Go. Okay. Good shielding and patience there from Mittens. Could have easily overextended and. Oh, okay. That barrel was nuts. This might just be the stock. No, doesn't get it. On, but yeah. Hitme is yet to be hit by any of his zero to deaths and is therefore able to keep up with the damage quite nicely here. Just um, answer back to any hit he gets given it actually. But Rage Drive once again here could be a problem. Hitme cannot afford to slip up here. Yeah, if he gets hit by the Rage. It's now 108%, you're going to get teleported off the screen. Rage, Town Blast Zone, yeah. and just being Diddy, who I believe is light. Yeah, 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 yeah. All not combina oh all combinations of a very scary time here, but Rage Ride is now. Oh, the But he shield. does not need it. Yeah, I, f I feel like it me. The Rage Drive was just, just away, and it looked like he was going to get the up smash. He didn't get it, unfortunately. He ended up getting up beat out of shield, so. It's them little, it's them little intricacies of the matchup. So small, small interactions that can make the difference. And I think the interaction between that banana uh, for for Mittens and that last second of the game, it could have meant that it me won the game. But them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Yeah.
That's Dude. all you can do. Yeah. I, I mean, if you hit me, you just have to accept it and move on, right? I feel like throughout the game, it was a very, very even set. I feel like Itby was generally winning neutral much more than Mittens was. Um, but Mittens just took his, took, his, took his options and took them well, so. Yeah, Mittens is just doing a good job at um, very on today. Banana, I feel like, threatened um, Mittens to not extend too much at that point. Mittens would have actually slipped on Banana, so. Sure. You know, Banana's actually quite, I just with every matchup, it's going to play a large role here. And is this playing around rather. But decent lead here. Yep. Pretty, pretty good. Kalos said I, I like the stage of Kaz. I like the stage of Kaz a lot. And I think leaving it open is just it's just so scary. Because you've just got so much room to do your silly little horizontal combos that I don't know. I don't know. I just wouldn't leave it open personally. But we've seen Make the best out of this stage. Yeah, there must have been a reason it me left it open, right? I think it, it, from, from it me's perspective, you give Kazuya a lot less options to land, which is nice. Uh, trying to land. So, maybe that's an option why. Well, outside of that, I mean, I guess you get to do this kind of fun stuff. Okay, it's getting a lot more even. I feel like Itmi's really kind of woken up after getting after getting comboed to death a little bit earlier in the game. I think Itmi's just trying to play a bit more patiently here. Because last game, I think Itmi was holding forward quite a bit. Yeah, sure. That was a really, really nice kind of set of interactions for Mittens. Like, that combo into the laser was really, really clean and... Unfortunately, didn't get the final kill, but again, really good positioning on that Kalos platform. Five. He's not going to click it just yet. I feel like we might see it soon, though. We're very oh, well no. Yeah, I thought we were going to see that banana into the race drive. I was concerned that would happen too. You know, it'd be a very scary sight to see the monkey just get yeah. exploded there. 100%. Oh my oh. god, just dropped shield a little early. And gets forward smash for his liking. And this is good stuff from Itmi. And the percentage just keeps growing. 25 on the board. Not a lot, but it will keep chipping on. A lead is exactly what Itmi will want here. Because now he does not actually need to approach Smittens as much. Yep. Obviously, approaching cars is always going to be an issue. Especially when all of your spacing tools, I feel, for that are hurt box extensions. That was really nice patience from uh, it me to get off the ledge. Actually, we ended up reversing the situation, but Mittens gets the kill eventually with that kind of axe kick in the air. Oh dear. Banana in Pass hand. Up. Just throws throwing it away. away the banana. I like it, I like it. The throwing it away makes it so, obviously, it me couldn't reset it as quickly because it was still on the stage. That does make sense, actually. I was Thinking for a moment, throwing wave banana allows it me to get it back. That's not how it works as long as it's still on stage. So that might be right. a big benefit oh in dear. having a big stage like Carlos. Oh, oh the no. auto turn around. The auto turn around. Mittens has scammed him. He scammed <laughs> it me out of the win. You love to see it if you're a Cavs fan. If you're a fan of everything else, maybe you not don't, so much. You don't love to see <laughs> maybe it. not no, so much. No. But that was uh Certainly an ending. Certainly an ending for uh, for it me there. It was really unfortunate. It felt like again the momentum was slowly getting into Mittens' favour, but it me was still in it. But the roll into the auto turn around gut punch. It's one of those big matchup things you just have to keep in mind. Yeah, yeah. yeah any sort of roll situation, whether that be attack or not, because it's just going to respond to it automatically. Back to Kalos. Back to Kalos we go. I'm surprised to see this stage be picked again, to be honest. Yeah. Because um, in my opinion, it worked out for Mittens a lot more than it worked out for Itney in the last game. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. Not necessarily a terrible stage for Diddy Kong, I don't think, from what we've no, seen. But no, 100% not. Diddy likes this stage a lot, but again, it's just it's one of them, like the risk reward in picking this stage against a character like Kazuya, I feel like. The reward is fine, but the risk is just so high because of how much, how much benefit Kaz can get from that horizontal combo game. 
Absolutely, and then also the fact that the platform at the side might make it harder to actually escape Kazuya's anti as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Because he can just anti so much space like that. 99 on the board. Oh, goodness. Just don't land there, Didis. Do not land there, Mr. Kong. You will get killed for it. And killed you are. Might be a bit early to say this, but I think we might be seeing a 3 here. I mean, it's, it's, it's looking more and more likely. I feel like Mittens is definitely started to play the game a little bit more here. And it's not even like, it's not even like Mittens was playing badly in games 1 and 2 and stole the win. He was playing fine, but this game in particular, it's looking good. It's looking really, really good. So 3 0, we might see it. Oh, that's going to be. A oh, uh, good option select. But doesn't work out still. Felt like it needed everything right. Yeah, that's that's Kazia for you. Yeah. You can do anything you want, but you can't escape the Kazia blender so easily. Three stocks to one here. Stage control on Kazia's side. Oh goodness! Oh, oh. no! <laughs> no! Someone stop him! This is looking better and better for the mittens and uh, what the, I don't know what move that even was. was. I, can't I think even that was idea. down tilt. Okay. I think that was. I think that was standing down tilt or crouching down tilt. I think they're different things. But whatever it was, it didn't work out. Nope, it definitely did not. But listen, if it me can somehow make this comeback, I, <laughs> I will be impressed. I, 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 like, I can't even consider what I would do if he did it. It's that improbable. It means comebacks versus Honeyo were insane, but we're you know, not going to see it today. Yeah, not, not, not versus missing. Very good job. To uh, Mittens, uh, it me as well, but you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, it me turning to the crowd and just being like, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do there. Uh, which is so valid, entirely valid, but unfortunately, the last PRG member in the bracket is going to fall at fifth place. A great effort, nonetheless. But it's going to be Mittens who progresses into loser semis. We are going to get our, uh, our other losers quarters next between Piplup and Joy Kong. Ninja vs DK. Oh, interesting matchup. Very soon. I look forward to seeing that matchup. Yeah, it's going to be a fun one. Just another instance where DK is going to actually struggle to get in. So yeah. I can land it again, Shuriken, forward air, yeah. that kind of thing, and make it. I think that's going to be consistently a good thing versus slow characters. I've heard you about it. set this Kerbo. Um, even though Pips have lost, I think we saw examples of those moves being useful. And it's going to be even better versus DK, as DK is massive. DK is massive, gets hit for. 100% whenever you want. Off stage, good injury can just back air a lot of the time. As well as Hydro Pump, DK's rug recovery is very, very linear. I would go as far as to say it's probably one of the worst in the game. Um, yeah, I mean, this is going to be tough for Joy Kong, to be fair. But one thing that Joy Kong does quite a lot, and a lot of DKs at the kind of higher to top level do, is they definitely play a lot of grounded uh, poking games. So a lot of forward tilt, a lot of down tilt and a reaction to what that uh, what that hit does. So, you know, you'll see you'll see Joy-Con go for down tilt a lot, and if the down tilt trips, then you'll get a lot off it. If it doesn't trip, we set back to neutral and start again kind of thing. So, it's just about keeping that, keeping that composure, keeping that mentality of patience, and uh, you've got to do that against a character like Gren. You've really got to do that against a character like Gren, because the minute you are extended, you're just going to eat so much percent. I do think everything you said was correct, but I think applying conventional play to Joy Kong is a mistake. True. You have to remember that who we're you know commentating. What? You're right. Not, not You're what right. we're commentating, who. Joy yeah. Kong is. Bikes. Yeah. Bikes. Joy Kong is his own specimen. His he, own, he, you know? he truly is a yeah. specimen. <laughs> he truly is a specimen. And you know what? You're absolutely right. From a matchup perspective, I can say this, that, and the other about DK versus Greninja, but at the end of the day, Joy Cog is built different. Yeah. Joy Cog is simply just built different, and I need to respect that. I need to respect. And thank you for keeping me in check there. I yeah. appreciate that. <laughs> but it just has to be said, it right? Does, it does. The reason I'm interested to see this matchup isn't because I want to see DK. I want to see how Joy Cog plays DK or in Yeah, I yeah, hundred percent. I, I I can only assume that these two have played before, um, whether it comes to Preston events or Chester events or something like that. Maybe they've played once before, but I don't think it's often. I don't think it's often. So we're going to see something quite new here for, for most of the people watching. We'll see how this goes between the two, though. I think um, the player everyone will expect to win here is Piplup, and I could not uh, agree.